It's the time for a package from China! Hey. They getting creative by the day. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, it's time for the Pocket Player with 198 games. All right, so it's an 8-bit classic. Yes, people, it's the 8-bit classic. Oh my God, another 8-bit system. But again, I need to buy it. I need to review it because I have an addiction for these portable systems. This one has a 2.4-inch TFT. Holy crap, that is small. That is a very tiny screen. We have some information about the system itself. Hmm, all right. I'm very curious, what are we going to get? All right, let's see what we're going to get. <laughs> Aha! Toilet paper manual for my friends from China. Installation. Okay, it begins with, thank you. Thanks for the purchase, the retro game player. This product is small and portable, so you can take it anywhere. All right, some basic explanation. What are you going to need? And somebody's outside making a lot of noise. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, you skip doing it. Nevertheless, we are going to pause the video. Going to throw this away. Oh, no, he's already. He stopped when making the noise. All right, so this is what we're going to get. I think this is a really cute, tiny, portable system. It's basic, so if you're asking how basic can this thing get, this is the base, basicer than this. It can get more, ba more basic than this. Because if you look at it, I really like the D-pad. I've never seen it before. And uh, screen protector. Uh, let's see, it doesn't ha even have a freaking battery inside. So we need to have, we have, an, oh man, 23 AAA batteries. Okay, I'm going to get some and we're going to try it out and let's see what kind of games this thing even has. All right, so I must say the view angle is not bad at all for a cheap device like this. Do we have a volume? Is there any freaking volume on this thing or what? Okay, here we start the... Oh, the volume controls on over here? What? Yes, indeed. <laughs> but all right, what are we going to get with the system itself? The D-pad itself, it's... A it feels very nice, by the way, because it's one big button, A, B, X, and Y. So A, B, or if they messed it up, they messed, <laughs> they switched the buttons or the jump button and the run button. And we're having the turbo buttons, reset, sound is over here, and we're having the start button. So there is nothing, you cannot add games. There is no other connection, not even a headphone jack. We're having the on off switch here, on and off switch here. Ooh, tiny tune. Ooh, is this going to be a naughty list? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, they are not. Is this something? This is not a Tiny Toon game. So the oh my god, it's not even. All right, nevertheless, we're going to try them some games, but I don't have high hope for this. That's the thing. I see it's two holes, but I'm guessing it's only having one speaker. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. All right, let's see. I'm guessing this is a homebrew game or something like this. What just happened? Oh, I grabbed something. Oh, needed to avoid that one. So it are all basic games, nothing special. Reset. Let's see what we have even more. All right, let's take a close look at the list itself. Um, all of these games. I have really no idea. Zippy Race, that is a familiar one. So that's a real game. And let's see what we have now. More Beltron. So this thing is filled up with, or let's say, B titles, or we having homebrew games. So that is a big bummer. Maybe fun for the children, but I think you're not waiting for this as a, let's say, a retro gamer or a fanatic gamer. You don't want to have this. Okay, that's the list. Hmm. Let's see. Funny thing is when I'm moving the D-pad, I can see in the screen there is something going on. 
<laughs> Pobble. Okay. Pobble. Hmm. Okay, I need to press the button to drive. Mm. <clears throat> oh, that is really horrible. Alright, let's see. What do we have more? Let's try another one. Zippy. Oh, battle. Wait, wait. Let's see. Oh, man. Battle. Hmm. Okay. This looks nice. I'm guessing it's shoot em up. Oh, my God. It's a ripoff from the famous Galaxian. Do we say that correctly? Or Galaga. Galaga. Oh my god, that I can't remember anymore. It's a rip-off, people. But even worse, if they're rip if they're ripping off original games, alright, but I mean with this that they're putting original games on it. But it's just a rip-off from an original game. Oh yeah, stage cleared. All right, so basically all the games are ripped off from original games or they... So I'm guessing for the children, it can be a fun product. Okay, I have really no clue what just happened. I have really no clue what just happened, people. No. But I think this is the most basic portable system I have seen for, for a long time, yeah. I don't know what it is, but what the hell. All right, so for the final conclusion. The Pocket Player. It's a new generation of Pocket Players. Why do I say new generation? Because um, this is just released. Uh, retro game, it's a new brand in China. I've seen a couple of these, let's say, portable systems, mini arcade machines. So the build quality, it's not bad at all. It's very thick, it's very dirty. The bummer of this thing is that it doesn't have good games. It are homebrew games. Some games can be fun. I didn't play them all and this, I just randomly show you some of, of the games. But as you can see, they are flawed in many ways. Or again, we're off from original games. So yeah, can I recommend this? Nah. If you want to have a cheap device, spend some more money and you can buy a lot of great portable systems that can do, let's say, more than only 8-bit games or that heavy bit games are way better, or you can add games. There are some portable systems that can do that. But then overall, this is what you're going to get. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, maybe fun to collect, but to play with it, nah, not really, not really. So well, then, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, and don't forget to check out the gaming channel. See you next time. Bye bye.